In this video, we're gonna talk about three related concepts from Aristotle, ethos, pathos, and logos. And if you've not yet been exposed to this kind of material, it will absolutely help you take your next presentation up a notch. So let's get into it. Hello again, friends, I'm Alex Line, and if you've never subscribed to Communication Coach, this channel, I encourage you to do so. This channel is here for rising leaders, people like you, to help you increase your personal impact so you can lead the people around you to higher levels of excellence. And one of the ways we do this on the channel is by presentation skills. And today we're gonna to look at three related concepts, ethos, pathos, and logos. These have, even though they're textbook type concepts, they have direct application for you as a speaker and you can use these right away. So let's unpack these each and show you how you can apply them. The first is ethos, and that means your personal credibility as a speaker. Now, a lot of times people think that because ethos looks like the word ethics, that's all it means. And that's part of it, obviously. As a speaker, you have to have good character. You also, however, have to be an expert. You have to have credentials. You have to be qualified to speak in a way that people would want to listen to you. Very few of us have a public reputation already. And so one of the ways you can do this in your presentations is if you're being introduced by somebody before you speak, make sure the person introducing you has a little bit of information about your background so they can position you as someone worth listening to. If you don't have someone introducing you, then you wanna talk about any research that you've done to prepare for this presentation, any personal experience or connection that you have to the topic. You wanna to position yourself as someone that has ethos, someone that has the credibility, the believability, so that people will want to listen to you. And you can almost always do this right in the introduction of your presentation. Let's turn now to pathos. Pathos is where the speaker appeals to the emotions of the listeners. So you wanna use things like vivid language, metaphors, and probably the most effective way that we can reach into the hearts of our listeners is through personal stories. You can tell stories about your own personal experiences or you can tell stories about other people's experiences. There's nothing like a story to engage our hearts and, and get us personally involved in. It's almost like a story transports us into the moment, and that's a great way to appeal to your audience's emotions. So when you're presenting next, make sure as you're looking at your outline that you have enough personal examples and little stories to bring people into that emotional dimension of your presentation. So now let's talk about logos. Logos, because it looks like the word logic, a lot of people think, oh, that just means logic, but there's a lot more to it than that. In fact, you wanna think about it in terms of using evidence and reason to construct your speech. You want to develop your presentation around a series of facts and statistics and good, reasonable evidence. And one of the ways you can do this in a presentation and make it work for you is make sure you have a tight relationship between your claim, that's your thesis, the thing you're trying to demonstrate, and the evidence you're using. If you're claiming one thing and then you have to stretch your evidence to fit it, people are gonna to start to notice that and they're not going to be as willing to be brought along or convinced by your message. So make sure you're thorough in your research and you integrate that good high quality research into your presentation, then your presentation will have good logos. So that way you have ethos, pathos, and logos, you're gonna be way more persuasive overall as a speaker. Question of the day, what are your thoughts about how to establish any of these three in your next presentation? I would love to hear your comments and your tips below. I learn a lot from reading your comments, so I look forward to reading those in the future. So thanks, God bless, and I will see you in the next video.